wouldn't say it's a. I wouldn't say it's a concern. I, I think it's more that every year is different, and so there, there's definitely a group of guys from last year's team that played a lot of football for us. Uh, John Urschel, uh, Carson, Adrian Amos, uh, that, that certainly had leadership ability and, and, and had were, were part of that leadership team last year. So uh, now it's time for some of those younger guys to have a good spring practice. And, work hard and help us in that role too so we'll see how that develops but uh, this year is a different year and, and I think we've got some some good guys coming back that played a lot for us last year that will be good leaders for us. Coach, uh, take us through the process when you've got you know, so many guys at least 69, 65 guys on the scholarship right. you know, and I'm assuming during spring you know, you're trying to fine tune things with every guy. Take us through the process of like making sure that that work gets done with so many guys you know this guy's got to work on kind of maybe throwing motion or something. Right. Each guy's got a different thing. Right. Well, each coach, so right after the season, we went out on the road and we, we, we were recruiting. But in addition to recruiting, what each coach was doing when they had free time, which is really on the weekends, or a dead time in recruiting, is they were evaluating their own players from the previous season. So they went through and they watched every game again, and they evaluated all the guys that are coming back for us this year. And they went through it, and we have a little sheet that we draw up that Basically, it's uh, things they did well, things they did poorly, and things they need to improve on. It's very simple. It's a simple sheet, and, and then when the guys get back from, from winter break, we go through that sheet with them so that those guys know whether it's you know something they can do in the weight room or conditioning or when we start spring practice this afternoon, what they have to do to improve. So it starts there with the assistant coaches, and then spring practice is, is very much about fundamental football technique, individual technique, how can Allen Robinson improve the way that he runs a comeback, or uh, how can Adrian Amos improve the way he plays man coverage, and so on and so forth down the line, and that's that's really <coughs> part of spring practice. That's why we have a lot of individual periods in the beginning, and then some team periods at the end, a little bit different than the season, but that, that's somewhat of the process. It's a long process, but it's always, it's a, uh, an ever-evolving process, too. Hey, Phil. Can you talk about what has you most excited going into spring practice, what you're most looking forward to seeing, and also on top of that, maybe what one or two of your bigger concerns are? Well, I'm just excited to be off of the uh, banquet circuit and back on the field coaching, <laughs> although I, I had a great time at all of the banquets, especially the Maxwell Award banquet was just a phenomenal night for Penn State, and it was, it was just a great night. But really, at the end of the day, what we all love to do is coach and be on the field and uh, you, you know watch these guys improve from day to day. We, we really are fortunate because we work with a bunch of really good kids that, that work hard, that uh, compete, and so really the, the biggest thing is we're just looking forward to getting out on the field coaching. Then, you know, personally, I'm looking forward to watching the quarterbacks, how they progress every day. I'm looking forward to watching the defense, how they <coughs> Uh, progress every day with different things that they might be trying. I'm looking forward to watching all the different position battles at running back and tight end and uh, you, you know defensive line and linebacker. So uh, you know just all the different things that go into the competition of the football team. Uh, hey Bill, I was wondering uh, how, how do you see the linebacking core? Kind of uh, there's going to be obviously Hodges and Mowdy gone. How do you see them kind of stepping in for those guys? And then secondly, with Mike Cole, uh, obviously a linebacker. He played a lot of roles though for you last season. Do you see him continue to do that, or will he, since he might have to have more kind of linebacker, just kind of, uh, you know, be more traditional? Well, we don't have a lot of depth at linebacker. That's that's for sure. Uh, we have, uh, you know, guys there that played a lot of football for us last year. Clint Carson, Mike Hall, Naeem Warman didn't play a lot. He got injured, but we think he has a really bright future. Ben Klein, he won't be in the spring, but we think, you know, we know that going to help us uh, in the fall as a, as a special teams player and then fighting for time at linebacker. So I'm just really, uh, I'm looking forward to watching Hull, Carson, and Wardman play together. You know, because again, those are three guys that didn't really play together that much last year. You know, like you said, it was Carson, Mowdy, and Hodges. And, and you know, all three of those guys have had excellent off seasons. Uh, Glenn Carson and Mike Hall, have really worked hard. They're leaders on this football team. They're tough guys, uh, good players. And then Naeem, you know, I think he 
worked very hard this this uh, off season and we're looking forward to seeing what he can do. But there's certainly not a lot of depth there, so it's, it's going to be in, in, you know, imperative for myself to monitor that and make sure that we're not you know giving those guys too many reps.